Me? Oh, it's it's already in. That's already in. Well, we got. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna we gotta peel it first, sweetie. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some. Uh, we're gonna make some curry sauce for some lamb. We got some lamb shoulder chops that I found on sale, and we're gonna braise them up, and then we're going to cook them in a little bit of cranberry curry that I'm gonna make. What do you think about that? Cranberry curry. <laughs> <laughs> cranberry curry band that's right a long time ago but uh, also like yesterday Papa had this idea of using Canadian ingredients to make a curry and you know, back then people thought it was crazy now people think I'm crazy but I'm right you can put it that way that part's the pestle well the big round part goes on the bottom we we'll go big round part on the bottom. Is this pestle? Yeah, it's it's a that's the pestle. This is the mortar, and this is the pestle. That's why they call it a mortar and pestle. Mortar, mortar and pestle. Yeah, mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle. That's right, sweetie. Mortar. Ha ha ha. Right, get your hands out from under there. Okay, big end, down. It's dangerous and it's heavy. Okay. I don't want you to bruise your little fingers. You bruise your little fingers, Ben. It's not gonna happen, not today. Not today, Sprunky. All right, so here we go. We got garlic and we have ginger. What else are we gonna add? Oh, here we go. We're gonna add all this green onion. That's enough. No, you may not. Put them back, take them out, please. No, you may not. Take them out, please. Why do we have to wait? Yeah. Oh, sweetie, because patience is a wonderful lesson to learn so easy and so young in life. How cute is this onion? How cute is it? It's so cute. So cute. All right, Ben. So here's our little green onions. So we're going to cut these up. Okay. Now, can I see that little cute onion that you have there? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to cut these out. Okay, we're not going to put them in there. I'll show you what to do. So, the thing about making curry, Ben, is that we always go from the hardest ingredients to the softest. You understand? You didn't know that? Yeah. Curries always go hardest to softest. You know why that is? Because the hard one, the hard ingredients take the most time to mash up. And the soft ingredients take the least time to mash up. So if you're going to pound up a curry in, let's say, Thailand. Am I doing this quite good? I'm cutting it in little, tiny pieces. Yeah. So normally you'd have some galangal instead of ginger. And you would have... Very good. And you'd have... Uh, You'd have that, and you'd have lemongrass. I mean, we're not going to get any lemongrass anytime soon, not around here. But in the old, old Thai recipes, like old, old ones, they didn't have, uh, so much wasn't the case. They didn't have all these fancy ingredients. It was basically only garlic. It was like mashed up garlic paste with the... Uh, no, you must wait for me. Can you wait for me? Okay. All right, now these are sweet red peppers yeah. okay so these are shepherd peppers that we papa dried out we papa dried out in the uh late summer last year now, because i'm going to use these instead of using spicy peppers so that everybody can eat the curry not just papa okay I've done this before. I, I remember having to do one with Carl on the fly at Richmond Station years, a decade ago. Like when it was first open, before he was even open, I think. Uh -huh. So we made a, we went together and made some kind of dinner, blah, blah, blah. And I made cranberry curry uh, and I couldn't get the, the spicy peppers that I wanted. So I ended up buying sweet red peppers and then I dehydrated them and then I did this and then I pounded them up and blah, blah, blah. And... I don't know. I don't really remember much of anything else, but I did that. All right, I'm going to cut a little more. 
All right, I'm gonna cut a little more. I'm gonna do it quite fine. Righty, eat bop 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 beebity boo. I'm gonna cut that one. Mortar and pestle. Yeah. Uh huh. Now, what we can start with is the peppers, and we're gonna do peppers and salt. Just a little bit of salt, Ben. Almost. The first thing I got to do is grab, salt these and cut them as small as I can first so that they're easier to break down in the mortar. You understand? I'll see you later. Yeah, you're going to have some to eat. Okay, and we are going to add spices while we break it down. A little bit of this. So this. Hey. What's that? Yeah, just don't, yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, are you ready? So here we go. So I'm going to start with the hard spices. And I do it in a circle like this. See? You don't really need to mash it up and down. Like, you know, see people doing this. You don't need to do it. Not too much. A lot of it can be spun like this. Okay, so that's a little bit of this. And now we're going to add... Very good. Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Here you go. So that's plenty of coriander, and we're going to add a, uh, a sprinkle of this over here. Well, I'm going to add a whole bunch of secret stuff, and then we'll just kind of go with that, okay? There we go. That'll do. Dump it right in. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to dump it right in. Can I dump it right in? Yeah. Thank you very much, Benedict. I appreciate it. Here we go. All right. May I? <laughs> so spices mashed up into a pulpy bit. And then hardest thing, ginger. It's the first thing you do about it. why I wanted to make this so badly, but I did. Well, normally it's to appease everybody's palate and, you know. Yeah, it's Caleb's birthday, so I'm going to have what I want. That makes sense, right? Will Bach Caleb? Yeah, of course he will. He's a sweet little dumpling. I'm a pretty bangy guy, that's true. I am. I've been called a monster before, Benedict. <clears throat> I've been called a monster. Anyway, this will be enough for the four or five of us, whatever it is. Chilies got to break down a little bit. They're only going to break down if you uh, bang them. And they're quite dry, which is kind of a good thing. But I mean, 
It smells like what it should smell like. That's always a good sign. How's that smell? That really good. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Smell yeah. it, Ben? You can go see what it smells. Does it smell good? Yeah. Ben, do you want some? I smell. There's a knife there. Okay, okay we're going to add, maybe not all this, maybe just a little bit of this. Yes, it is. Now we don't have any shrimp paste, not that I know of. Why? Why is it shrimp paste? Well, shrimp paste is, oh, you can get shrimp or crab paste would be the traditional fermented things to put in here, um, which is like Thai miso, if you want to think about it that way. But they use crabs, like little tiny crabs. You can buy the big, uh, you can buy them by like the bucket full, or you buy them from a bucket, like in, in a, the markets in Thailand. Yeah. And resist the temptation to put in too much onion. That's important. I don't need. Well, that's it. Or it tastes like what it should taste like. Right? Oh. You want to taste it? There's no, there's no, it's not spicy. Like, there's no spicy chilies in there. But. It tastes like curry, right? Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And all that spiciness. Yeah, all that spicy is coming from garlic. It's incredible, right? So old, 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 old Thai recipes, like, um, are heavy garlic. So garlic is used in the place of chilies. So you're talking about, like, Thailand being a place before the Portuguese introduced capsicum to like the eastern world right it's kind of a big deal so that's that i mean that looks pretty good to me right uh, let's take a look here and see what we got so first thing first this. i could grind it a finer but uh I mean, There we go. Oh, so Look at that. Are you talking? That's our sweet little curry paste. So what we're going to do is we're going to toast off the curry paste. Um, yeah, we're going to toast it. I'm going to toast it off in uh, butter. And then after I toast it off in butter, I'm going to add uh, cranberry to it. And then I'm going to add, so cranberry in the place of tamarind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can hydrate it with a bit of orange juice and then uh, chicken stock would be the thing to add to that. And then that can be cooked down until it's like pretty gooey and then seasoned with uh, lots of fish sauce yeah. and lime juice mm -hmm. and uh, really as much sugar as you want. But because these peppers are so sweet, it, it's going to be quite, quite sweet. But this is, uh, this is great. There you go. Easy peasy red curry. All right, so I want to braise this lamb up for this curry, and these are all um, shoulders. And this one, you can see this is part of the belly. That's where the belly is. Um, and these are going through the, oh, down goes the car. Uh, anyways, uh, so we're gonna braise them. So what I'm gonna do first, because I want, I want to draw some of this lamb flavor out. I don't want to sear it in a pan, because I don't really want that texture. I want it to be super soft but I still want to take some of the lamp flavor out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Here, you have an apple piece. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to throw it on the grill and I'm going to grill these off really hard and charry. And then I'm going to throw them in a pot with a bunch of scraps of stuff like these 
ginger end pieces, uh, probably this bits of carrot that I'm going to cut up, these bits of turnip that are left, uh, whatever I kind of have in the fridge. And I'm going to gently bring it up and then I'm going to throw it in the oven, uh, take Ben to town, uh, pick up a few things that we need to get uh, the basement fixed up for the Koji box. And then when I get back, these should be nice and fall apart soft because they're quite, they're quite thin, right? Not super thick. And uh, I'll let them cool in that liquid. And then for pickup, pickup for ser service, anyway, what, dinner, supper, there we go. That's what people have, normal humans eat at their house. Oh boy, uh, we're at home, yeah. Not used to, still, I'm still not used to eating, sitting down. Um, so to do that, I'll cook up this curry and then take it down, whatever. And I'll take these out of that braising liquid, pull these bones, like these, these are the big, big uh, chime bones, I'm going to pull these out and these shoulder blade bones that are here uh, they, they'll pop right out after it's braised and the same with these and the belly bones and uh, warm it gently in that braising liquid and then they can have this nice soft braised grilled lamb with the cranberry curry and the vegetables and uh, I'll microwave some rice and it's an easy supper birthday supper alright so uh, here we go All right, so this is our grilled off shoulder. So it's not cooked at all. It's still raw, raw and raw, but I put a, um, a fair amount of fat on it and I kind of slap these shoulders around on the grill to kind of get a little bit of that, you see there's like a smoky char. That's what it is that I want. Now that I got that all squared away, I've got all these delicious little bits and bops from making supper the past couple days or a week or whatever, I don't know. So there's some turnips, some onion, leek. So these are some squash chunks from the squash kabocha that I have here. Um, and I put in a bunch of dried orange peels, all my ginger peels. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to fill it up with some stock. I'm going to bring it up to the boil on the stove because that reduces cooking time by about half whenever you do a braise. And I'm going to huck it in the oven. And like I said, it'll take probably, I don't think any more than two hours at about 335 convection lit a jar. All right, let's go. There we go. So grilling was definitely the way to go with these. It took a little bit more time and it was a bit of a pain, um, but it smells, uh, it doesn't smell lamby at all, which was kind of the goal. I take kind of that, some of that smell out. So it smells lamby, but not entirely lamby. And the bones are popping right out, which is good. So I'm going to take all the bones out of these shoulder pieces and put them over here. And then I'm going to strain the liquid. Um, and then I'm going to heat this up with some butter and I'm going to cook off our curry paste in here. And we'll be set to the races. Yes, 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 a table. Uh, Mom's going to do the washroom and then we'll, we're going to have supper. So here's what I've done. Here's this curry that I cooked off in a little butter and I add our little cranberry. Caleb, don't go down the stairs. Um, and I, I've strained off our, our little lamb stock here, off this lamb. And I've been kind of blooping it in here and then taking it down slowly. And I'm going to season it with this, this fish sauce, um, which is wonderful. And this is just, this is anchovy salt and sugar. That's all you kind of want. Other stuff like the big bottles, three crabs, it's full of glucose and it's kind of gross. Um, so we'll season it with that and maybe finish it with citrus if it requires it. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna. And you can sugar it and you know, but I, it's gross. There's sugar and everything. So I don't do that anymore. Um, but you can match it with some sweet, uh, root vegetables. That, that'll that'll knock around the sugar and make it a little easier. I got some squash in the oven for that purpose. So I'm going to reheat some of this um, beautiful lamb shoulder steaks uh, with the fatty bits in this little goo here. Look at this one. I'm going to reheat them like this. And I'm going to keep some on the side just in case uh, somebody doesn't want the curry or they get all scared or whatever. And that stuff on the side... I'll uh, heat up in this little bit of stock that I have left. 
And then uh, that's it. That's uh, that's supper. We made cranberry curry for my sweet little one-year-old's birthday that he'll obviously remember forever. Hi. Hey, you okay, sweetie?